Let's be frank, the journey to Mars is no walk in the park. There's a reason why human exploration of the Red Planet hasn't been commonplace. While a handful of fortunate and costly landers have made it, the round trip to and from Mars poses unprecedented challenges, making it the most demanding space mission humans have ever undertaken. Numerous obstacles in the vastness of space contribute to the formidable difficulty of traveling to Mars. Firstly, humans aren't accustomed to prolonged periods in space. A round trip to Mars would span an astonishing 21 months, nine months to reach the destination, three months on the planet, and another nine months to return. Each second spent on this journey translates into significant energy, fuel, and financial costs, amounting to thousands of dollars per second just to reach the Red Planet. When considering the toll that extended space travel can take on the human body, it becomes apparent why some harbor fear and hesitation about interplanetary travel. However, what if there were a quicker way to reach Mars? What if the journey didn't have to consume a whopping 21 months? What if significant time and resources could be saved with a shorter and safer expedition? An increasing number of scientists believe that achieving a much faster transit to Mars is plausible. Instead of 21 months, the prospect of reaching Mars in just three days is being explored. Should these advancements in space travel prove effective, it has the potential to revolutionize our perspective on the feasibility of living on Mars. Ever since the height of the space race, chemical rockets have been the most commonly used propulsion method. In many ways, SpaceX and their rockets, especially the Starship, look a lot like the old Saturn rockets that Americans took pride in during the early days of NASA. But SpaceX tech is far beyond anything NASA ever created, which will not only save time, but also make the long voyage much more comfortable. SpaceX is currently hard at work on their next generation Raptor engines, which will power the Starship spacecraft and the super heavy rocket. They're known for the ridiculous amount of power they produce, but the truly game-changing aspect is their reusability. Like many engines before it, the Raptor burns chemical fuel to produce thrust. However, its use of liquid oxygen and methane is different from nearly every other engine in the space travel field. No other rocket engine is capable of producing as much energy out of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The Raptor engine and the Raptor tube that's now being developed is a key piece of SpaceX's future. It has a radical amount of power cultivated in ways that haven't been used before. With the science and reusability factor, the Raptor engine is what space engineers have always dreamed of, but have never been capable of achieving before now. It will save money, it will save energy, and it will help massive vessels like the Starship transcend our atmosphere and head straight for Mars. But there is still one problem with this sort of propulsion method. A trip to Mars will take roughly nine months in each direction. So even though the technology SpaceX and other private companies are creating is far superior to that of the past, scientists and engineers are looking for ways to travel between the planets at a much greater speed. This is where a nuclear-powered rocket has a chance to truly transform space travel as we know it. A nuclear-powered reactor on a rocket would generate heat from uranium fuel. That thermal energy would heat up a liquid propellant, typically liquid hydrogen, which will expand into gas and shoot out the back of the rocket. You can just imagine the sort of thrust a nuclear-powered rocket would produce. Scientists anticipate that a spacecraft utilizing this technology would generate twice the thrust per unit of propellant compared to the current chemical systems. This advancement could potentially reduce the duration of an average one-way trip to Mars to approximately 90 days. However, some individuals express apprehension about this approach to space travel, likely due to the negative associations with nuclear energy stemming from events like the Chernobyl disaster. 
Contrary to concerns, nuclear energy is considered a secure method with specific safeguards in place to prevent radiation leaks or exposure. Additionally, any spacecraft powered by nuclear energy would initially rely on a conventional chemical rocket to exit Earth's atmosphere, only activating its nuclear power once beyond our planet. For those seeking even faster travel to Mars, ion engines emerge as a promising alternative. Scientists are heavily investing in researching these engines to assess their potential power. Unlike chemical rockets, ion engines propel spacecraft forward by accelerating electrically charged ions through an electric field. Their true potential unfolds in space, where charged ions provide a continuous push, akin to the wind propelling a sailboat. This propulsion method allows spacecraft equipped with ion thrusters to attain speeds of up to 200,000 miles per hour or 90,000 meters per second. In comparison, the renowned American space shuttles could achieve speeds of only about 18,000 miles per hour. The trade-off for these high top speeds of ion thrusters is slow acceleration, which is why this method might be perfect for trips across our solar system. Based on the science behind the revolutionary ion engine, you can plan on it taking only 39 days to get to the red planet. Now let's take a look at the most futuristic and exciting method of space travel that could get us to Mars as fast as possible. A photonic propulsion system would be able to power a rocket in remarkable jaw-dropping ways. This one-of-a-kind rocket would rely on the momentum of particles of light known as photons, to move the ship forward. It sounds far-fetched, and it is. There's still so much work to be done in this field, but the idea has been in development by numerous scientists for years now. If they're able to crack the code of photonic propulsion, we could find ourselves arriving on Martian soil in not months, but days. Particles of light don't have any mass. However, photons do have both energy and momentum, and when they reflect off an object, that momentum is transferred into forward motion. By harnessing the power of photons, an entire rocket ship could blast through the galaxy at breakneck speeds. Right now, it's predicted that photonic propulsion could get a small robotic craft to Mars in just three days. There's no doubt that photonic propulsion could be a literal game-changer. Not only could it make exploration so much faster, but it could also allow humans to travel to Mars and far beyond as well. All of these new promising methods of travel could radically change how we traverse the galaxy. If we are truly able to limit the amount of time it takes for us to get to Mars and other planets, then a new golden age of space travel awaits. What are your thoughts on these futuristic methods of space travel? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content.